This is part one of a series of videos that will show you how to use some of the IronCAD mechanical tools. Once you have installed IronCAD mechanical, under add-ins you will find an IronCAD mechanical. If you don't see this button, you have to go to add-ins applications. In this dialog you will see IronCAD mechanical and if you check this box you will also see this button appear in this ribbon bar. So when you click IronCAD mechanical you will have some commands such as open files, import files and other powerful commands. For example, if you click open files, it gives you more capable options to set your favorite folders and your default folder. And if you select a folder, you will also see down here to the right how many files and folders you have inside the selected folder. If you then come down here to this button to select a catalog, you will see that you have IronCAD mechanical catalogs such as pipes, architectural, flanges, mechanical, tools and utilities. So I select the mechanical catalog and inside this catalog there are several powerful commands such as holes, fasteners, fasteners assembly, sig rings, o-rings, you have steel sections and you have some commands or tools for the steel sections. You can also drag and drop springs shaft keys and also boss threads. In this video I will show you how to use steel sections. So I will drag and drop a steel section onto the scene. And when you drop a steel section you will be presented with this uh, dialog. Here you can choose what kind of standards you want to use. And here you can choose what kind of steel section you want to use. In my case I want to use an I-beam and uh, the standard name for the one I want to use is this one. The type is IPE100. And then I can click this button. It's the Update button. And I will rotate this steel section, the I-beam, 90 degrees. And I will also center it in the camera so I will see that it's all right. Then you have this button. You can change the end conditions of the steel section. For instance, if you want to miter the ends, you can click the, the start section and also the end section. In my case, I want to miter them in 45 degrees, so that's why I check these boxes and the 45 angle will be alright for me. Then we'll click the update button for, to see if it is in the right direction, but I have to change the, the orientation of it. So I have to go back and change the orientation to the opposite like so and click update and I'm satisfied with that. So I click OK. Then I will drag another steel section and drop it here at the end. Now you will see that it will fit perfectly and it recognizes that the first one is mitered. That's why the second one is also mitered. When this box is checked it will recognize what is the conditions of the one it has been attached to. So now it recognizes that it is mitered in 45 degrees, that's why this one is also mitered in 45 degrees. But I will change the length to 1500 and will update like so and I will click OK. Then I will drop another steel section in this side. It will also be mitered but I will change the length to 1500 and I will click OK. And we'll drop another one here. And I will change the length to 1000. Update and it will fit perfectly. So I will get a, a steel frame like so. But I also want to add a cross beam. So I will drop a steel section here in the middle. And because there is no attach points here in the middle, that's why this end will not be mitered. It will be a flat surface. A flat end. So, but I want to have the right length of it. To get the right length I will click this calculate button or a magic wand button. Now we have the right length and I will click update and we'll see it will fit. But I need also to cut the tolerance so I will check these two buttons. And the tolerance will be two millimeters. That's all right, all right with me. So I will update and it will be in the right length, 
and it will fit perfectly. I will click OK. Now we have a steel frame with a cross beam. Now I will create a table of this uh, steel frame. So I need some legs. To create the legs, I will use uh, steel sections. I will drag and drop a steel section in the middle of uh, this surface of this I beam. If I have dropped it here at the end where I want to have the leg, it will recognize that these, these two steel sections are mitered. So, uh, but I don't want to miter or change the end condition of uh, this steel section. I want a flat end. So that, that's why I dropped it here in the center. So, but I want to change the steel section to a square tube, 50 by 50. I will update, change the length to 700. Update again to see that it will, it is all right. Yes. Then I will click OK. I select the leg and turn on the tribal, and the tribal is in placed in the center of this square tube. So I right click the center handle to point, and I will place it here at this point. And I need three more legs, and I will use the tribal to create these legs. So. I will um, move the tribal to this edge and uh, then I will right click the orientation handle mirror and link it to the other side then I will shift select the other leg use the tribal move the tribal to this edge and right click the handle mirror and link it so that we have four legs then I also will create an um, angle support here, so I will drag another steel section, drop it here in the center, here, and I will change the uh, position of it. Distance from point, that surface, 250. Then I will uh, rotate the tube 45 degrees, click OK. Well, I need to trim that tube so it will fit perfectly between the, the I-beam and the square tube. There is a tool for that, trim steels. So I will drag and drop the trim steel here in this scene. And the dialog says, select the steels to use as references for the trim. Well, the square tube, shift select the I-beam, and then I click text. Select the steels to trim. Well, it is this square tube and click Next. Confirm the selection and apply. OK. Because the legs are linked, I will uh, get this um, dialog. It says, do you want to apply the same name to all linked features? No, I don't want that. So now it is trimmed and fit perfectly here in the between the, the square tube and the I-beam. So I will use the tribal to, to copy the angle support to the other legs. So I will move the tribal to um, this edge, mirror and link it to the other side and I will shift select the other one and I will to move the tribal to this edge and I have to orientate it in the right direction like so and I will mirror and link it to the other side. Now we have four angle supports, but it, we need also a uh, tabletop. S to create a tabletop, I will use sheet metal. So I will drag a stock, drop it here in the, on the I-beam, and I will right click to change the thickness of the sheet metal to four millimeters from the bottom. And I also change the orientation like so and then I will change the size use the handles to resize it like so and that one and the last one like so now the table needs some color so I will select this I beam right click to get uh, to get smart paint paint it with blue go to visualization and pick the fill eyedropper to fill it with color. I will paint the other parts. 
and the tabletop needs also some color so I will select it paint it with this color like so now we have created a table by using the um, the steel sections here in the IronCAD mechanical catalog